living for Christ. So often I would ask people, especially my pastor, what can make the difference in my life to, to cause me day and night to want to live for Jesus Christ and to share him with others and to impact my world in a positive way? And I remember my pastor said, Josh, Jesus Christ is the key. Search the scriptures and find out what made a difference in Christ's life, then that can make a difference in your life. Well, you know, I did that. And I really believe I found the key in the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 35 to 38. And in this passage, there's four critical keys that can make a difference in your life and in my life in sharing Christ with others. Let me read the passage. And Jesus was going about all the cities and the villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel to the kingdom and healing every kind of disease and sickness among the people. And then verse 36 says in chapter 9, And seeing the multitude, he felt compassion for them because they were distressed and downcast like sheep without a shepherd. And then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of harvest that he will send forth labors out in to the harvest field. In this passage, there are four keys. The first is we need to see as Jesus saw. If our lives are going to have a dynamic that will impact those around us, then trust me, you and I need to see as Jesus saw. He looked through the way they were dressed. He looked through the way they were talking. And he saw the way they were on the inside behind the facade. And it says when he looked at the multitude, he saw them distressed and downcast like sheep without a shepherd. Now what does that mean? Distressed and downcast there means to be spiritually torn apart. And as sheep without a shepherd, it means with no leadership, not knowing where they're going in life. We need to ask Christ to allow us to see through the facades that people put up and see the way they really are on the inside. And when we do that, I really believe the Holy Spirit will move us to action. Let me show you what I mean. I was at a university, and I was walking across the campus. Here came a student with all these medals from the Olympics, and they really stood out. And so as I walked by him, I stopped him, and I introduced myself. And then I said, could I ask you a question? He said, well, yes. I said, why do you wear those medals? Oh, his answer is very interesting. He says, you know, I always wanted to be different. And these medals make me different. Well, I had to agree with him. They did make him different. But then I asked another question. And I asked this of a lot of people. I said, do they satisfy? And you know what his answer was? He said, no, I can't stand the loneliness that goes with being different. Now, you know, when most people see some Olympic athlete, they think you're somebody on top of the world, everything. But on the inside, he was being torn apart, wanting identity, wanting to be loved, wanting to know what his life was all about. And that's what Jesus saw when he looked through the facade that the multitude put up. And then the second step. It's that first we need to see as Jesus saw. And if we see as Jesus saw, then we will feel as Jesus felt. It says that when Jesus saw the multitude, he was moved with compassion. Compassion means to identify with their hurt, to weep with their tears, to ache with their wounds, to feel, to try to feel what they're feeling, and then to identify with them. And I truly believe if we ask God to open our eyes to see as Jesus saw, then through the Holy Spirit, he'll allow us to feel as Jesus felt. You see, compassion always leads to involvement. A great surgeon in my country was once asked, don't you fear the day will come when your fingers will no longer possess their skill? He said, no, but I fear if the day ever come when my heart no longer feels the suffering of my patients because my profession has ended. I fear the day in your life or my life when we no longer feel the hurts of those without Christ because then our ministry is finished.